Carnival, CCL, Get Carnival Corporation Report Cruise Lines and Rival Royal Caribbean, RCL, Get Royal Caribbean Group Report have both struggled for very obvious reasons. Neither company could have predicted that a pandemic would fully close their operations from U.S. ports from March 2020 through July 2021. That's an unprecedented event in modern global history, but the numbers suggest that Royal Caribbean has managed the crisis a lot better than its rival. Over the past five years, Carnival, as of pre-market on February 17, has lost almost 58% of its value while Royal Caribbean has seen its share price dip by 8.6%. A drop had to be expected given that both companies had to take on billions of dollars in debt under very unfavorable terms during the pandemic. The difference is that Royal Caribbean has posted a stronger recovery and looks to be better positioned going forward. Carnival has some marketing plans that may change that. And it's about to celebrate a big event that could re-engage some of its core audience. Royal Caribbean and Carnival both serve families and younger crowds than cruise lines traditionally cater to. Cruise Critic, a website that covers the industry, breaks it down as follows. Royal Caribbean has focused on upgrading the experience on its cruise ships, introducing the brand new Odyssey of the Seas during the pandemic while adding the newest, biggest ship in the world, Wonder of the Seas. The company has also invested heavily in its Coco Cay private island, making it a fixture of its marketing campaign. Coco Cay has been a true competitive advantage for Royal Caribbean. Traditional cruise line private islands, like carnivals are essentially just beaches. Royal's Caribbean destination has an extra fee water park and a massive pool. That makes its short cruises that stop at Coco Cay more appealing than Carnival's comparable itineraries. Royal Caribbean's ships have given the company an edge as well. Its Oasis-class ships have features that Carnival simply has not matched, including the Central Park area, essentially a park on a cruise ship, and the Seaplex on Quantum-class ships including Odyssey which host everything from basketball to pickleball and bumper cars. In addition, Carnival has trailed Royal Caribbean when it comes to specialty restaurants aside from on its newest ship, Mardi Gras. That gives Royal an added draw for adults as they may be more willing to board ships catering to kids and families if they know they can have a series of high-end dinners, sometimes at very good prices on cruises where unlimited ultimate dining is sold. Carnival has a new marketing campaign that's built around the idea that its ships are a lot of fun. We expect to build on this momentum with the brand's announcement just last week on its Thunderstruck campaign, engineered to highlight the joy and following of our Carnival cruise, Chief Executive Arnold Donald said during his company's fourth quarter earnings call. That advertising campaign is launching over the holiday, including the activations on Christmas Day and Times Square on New Year's Eve. Carnival also has two more ships in its top-tier Excel class currently being built. These will join Mardi Gras in giving the cruise line an answer to Royal Caribbean's Oasis, Quantum, and the upcoming Icon-class ships. This fall, more excitement arrives when Carnival Celebration arrives home to Port Miami. Carnival's next Excel-class ship will share all the fun guests are enjoying on Mardi Gras, like Bolt, an onboard roller coaster, plus some exclusive features as well, Carnival said in a news release. A third Excel class ship, Carnival Jubilee, will begin operations from its home port in Galveston in the fall of 2023 and will also feature unique aspects all her own. In addition to new ships, Carnival has also released plans to celebrate the company's 50th birthday with what it's calling celebrations. The cruise line has special events planned from now through March 2022. The company also plans 17 themed celebrations, which will allow guests to not only celebrate with each other on board, but also with other Carnival ships. Ships throughout the Carnival fleet will meet to host the biggest birthday parties at sea. At sea meetups, essentially ships anchored in sight of each other, enable the company to do things like set off fireworks. Royal Caribbean did something similar to celebrate its return to sailing on the 4th of July in 2020. Its initial passenger-carrying ships, Freedom of the Seas and Adventure of the Seas, along with ships getting ready to take on passengers, all anchored near Coco Cay for a fireworks celebration. Rising interest rates, inflation and market volatility are on the horizon. You don't want to miss out on this exclusive opportunity to unlock Action Alerts Plus at our lowest price of the year.